Evening. It might be hard to believe, but the next general election is only 13 months away and a major local race is already heating up. We're talking about the race for mayor of San Francisco. As of today, 29 candidates have filed paperwork to run. That includes the incumbent mayor, London Breed, who is running for her second full term. She's held the office since 2018, and that is when she won a special election following the death of former mayor Ed Lee. In May, Breed got her first major challenger, Supervisor Asha Safai, whose district includes neighborhoods like Ingleside, Excelsior, and the Outer Mission. But today, another big name officially threw his hat in the ring. You might know him as a local philanthropist or as heir to the Levi Strauss fortune. Jose Martinez takes a look inside Daniel Lurie's campaign announcement and the early response. What is the first thing that comes to your mind when you look at this city, well, that was a big topic of discussion today here in Potrero Hill, where Daniel Lurie officially announced his candidacy for mayor of San Francisco. A view like no other, playing host to an event in Potrero Hill. Daniel Lurie declaring his candidacy for mayor of San Francisco. What do you think when you look at this view? I think we're capable of so much and uh, we're not living up to the expectations that we all have for our city. Lurie's announcement drew a crowd of friends, family, supporters and curious voters like Delta Medina, a longtime San Francisco resident, mother of one, and a political and community activist in the mission. I think at this moment in time, it's important to have a democratic process that actually brings new ideas to the table. Um, the city is really struggling and we're all feeling that struggle. This is a city that a lot of people love, um, that actually has a lot of wealth. There's not a lack of money, there is a lack of political will. And it will be interesting to see, to have a, a real contender in the race. I mean, he says he's going to fully staff the police department. But not everyone wants to give him a chance based on his lack of public office experience. Connor Johnston, born and raised in San Francisco, father of two, and the owner of a cannabis store, tells me he will keep supporting Mayor London Breed. This candidate has no political or demonstrable leadership experience. and. This is a major city that faces major issues and we need an actual leader with the proven capacity to get things done. But Lurie, who is the founder of the anti-poverty nonprofit Tip and Point and an heir to the Levi Strauss fortune, tells me he knows exactly what those things are and he's ready to tackle them. It's about public safety, it's about cleaning our streets, it's about having that pride again in our city. I mean, we, we saw a conference come here last week and we were able to clean up the streets for a few days. If we can do it for three days, why, we can't, why can't we do it year round? And the answer is we can't. Uh, we just haven't had the political will. And those concerning issues are the ones where both Delta and Connor agree. Safety, security, economic opportunity, and education. As someone that grew up in the city and is raising a kid in the city, it's really important for me that when we walk out the door, we feel comfortable and safe. As San Franciscans, we often get wrapped up in this bubble thinking that everything we do is either the best or the worst. We're either the, we're either the best at something or this is the worst it's ever been anywhere. And the reality is these are issues that cities all up and down the West Coast are facing. And there's a lot of hurdles to overcoming those issues. A lot of those are state policies or federal policies or a lack of federal support. And it is really frustrating. And Mayor Breed is frustrated by it. Uh, but we've got to stay in the fight and we need a proven leader to actually get these things done. And Lori tells me he will continue holding events like this one to keep the conversation going with everyone in the city. In addition to his charity work, Lori also chaired the host committee that brought Super Bowl 50 to Levi Stadium. But some events surrounding that Super Bowl also left San Francisco taxpayers with a multi-million dollar bill.